Hey there, my meaty friends. This is Reed, aka Carnivore Chef, aka Viral Boy. I've been trying to avoid these random TikTok trends with all other weird one pan recipes, but I finally caved. Upon searching the depths of hashtag food on the platform, I noticed a formula. Do you want to know what it is? Well, I'll show you. And I'll make it fit with a carnivore diet. Anyways, for a basic TikTok dip, you'll really only need six things. Some sort of meat. Some sort of processed cheese. Some sort of real cheese. Some sort of side or veggie. A sauce. And finally, a random seasoning. So for this TikTok dip, you'll need the following. One pound of ground beef. An eight ounce block of cream cheese. 8 ounces of pepper jack cheese, 12 ounces of bacon, about 8 ounces of chorizo for the sauce, and today we'll be using Slap Your Mama Cajun seasoning because why the hell not? For what little prep we have to do, we need to get started by shredding our pepper jack cheese. I think you know how to do this part. For the bacon, I pre-diced it and then cooked it, but feel free to cook it first and then crumble it after it's cooked. I feel like there's something to say about these TikTok videos where everything seems just a little bit too brand new. So I went out and got a new pan just for this recipe. In it, let's get our beef browned. You don't want to season anything yet. Just chop it up and cook it over medium high heat until thoroughly browned. I drained this and set it aside while I worked on the bacon. Again, cook this over medium high heat until it's your desired doneness. I like mine just below the threshold of crispy. Drain and set aside. Getting the chorizo out of the packaging was extremely unsettling, so I sped this part up for your convenience. Again, cook over medium high heat, but this time cook it for about 4 minutes or until the color of the chorizo darkens slightly. Feel free to drain that on paper towels if you want to. Alright, in your cooked in pan, add all of the components and segments, and then sprinkle the whole thing with your pepper jack. You can go pretty light with the seasoning here, maybe half a teaspoon. Place this entire pan into an oven at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for 10 minutes or until the cream cheese is completely malleable. Mine went a little too long because I forgot to get pork rind so I rushed to the store so my pepper jack got a little more crispy. Yours should be okay if you follow the directions. Now grab a utensil and mix this whole thing up. I'm not sure why but this really is the most satisfying part and I could do this all day long. I had just a touch of cheddar in at the end only for cheese pool purposes. If you don't want to add any more cheese to the already one pound of cheese here, I don't blame you one bit. I topped mine with a little chive to make the dish pop, and boy did it pop. Let me take this first bite, which is for my Patreon community. If you're interested in joining, the link is down in the description. I hate that this is so good. I wanted to make this video to kind of poke fun at these kind of recipes, and I guess the joke's on me because I'm definitely bringing this to a Super Bowl party. Keep the joke going by liking this video and subscribing to the channel.